Hi everyone, I hope you don't mind me sitting here in my comfy clothes, but it is Sunday after all, and I thought as it's a new year, a lot of people might have a skincare routine on their New Year's resolution. I think looking after your skin is really important, and I don't think it's just about looking good. I think it's about being healthy and feeling good and having a good daily routine. And I just thought, instead of doing a skincare routine and overwhelming you with products, because I do use a lot of skincare products just because I enjoy it, I thought I would talk through some tips on how to get into a skincare routine, how to keep it up, and a few things that I think are important. You guys know I'm not a skincare expert, I'm just a person with a YouTube channel, but I am quite passionate about makeup and skincare, and I've figured out something that works for me. I've never had acne, so I don't know anything about acne, I can't help with that. I have normal, quite dry and dehydrated sometimes skin, I am quite lucky, I have quite good genes, but I do have spotty days as well, and I thought this might be interesting for you guys anyway, if you are looking to look after your skin more this year. So the first thing I would say is make time for your routine every day. Just like you would with having a shower, or brushing your teeth, or eating a meal, make your skincare routine important to you so that you always have time to do it no matter how much of a rush you are in. I make sure I at least wash my face every morning and night, no matter how late I'm running in the morning, or no matter how tired I am at night. I think if you just make it part of your daily routine, after a month or so, you just get so used to it that it's become second nature, you don't even really think about it. So that's something I would say is really important. You have to keep it up. I also think just keeping your skin clean is so important. Forget about the oils and serums and all of that for now. Cleansing your skin, I think, is the most important. Obviously, it depends where you live, but I live in London, and when you go on the tube, you come back in the evening, this is gross, but if any of you have come back on the tube and blown your nose, you'll see the colour of the crap that comes out of your nose. All the elements and pollution and crap that goes on your skin, it's so important to keep your skin clean and it would just clog up your pores. So think of it that way and I think that's what kind of got me into it because I used to always use face wipes when I was younger. My mom used to always try and convince me to just wash my face with a cloth, with some water, with a cleanser and I just didn't really get it. And the more I thought about how dirty my face must be, that kind of made me want to do it more. So just think about keeping your skin clean. It's so important and it will definitely help you age better. Also, just so you know, I'm really not into the whole anti-aging thing. I think aging is a really wonderful thing and I think that wrinkles and fine lines don't have to look terrible and deep and you don't have to have leathery skin when you're older. For me, it's not about making sure I have no wrinkles. It's just about keeping healthy, plump, glowing looking skin. My next tip would be to find the right balance. There are some products that take away from the skin and some products that give. For example, exfoliators take away or acid toners take away, but hydrating serums and oils give to the skin. And I think for me, it's finding that balance between the two, those two types of products that I kind of struggled with, but now I found it, I find really helps my skin. Some days I know that my skin can't handle having an exfoliator or an acid toner or a charcoal mask. Some days it just wants to have serums and oils and hydrating masks, but having the right balance, I think, is where you get that kind of perfect skin, somewhere in the middle there. Find a routine and stick to it, even when traveling. Changing your products all the time is just not going to work for your skin. I think it confuses your skin and it doesn't give it the chance to really get used to a product. That's why skincare is quite hard for beauty bloggers to test out because I think it takes quite a long time to figure out if you really like a skincare product or not. You have to use it for a good few months. So find that cleanser or the exfoliator or the mask that you like and you don't have to change. Unless your skin stops enjoying that product, you don't have to change it. And I always find when I go traveling and I buy minis in boots or whatever of different products, my skin always gets bad because it likes the products that I use at home. So you can just buy little tubs and little tubes and decant your products into there when you go traveling. I think if you can, try and use the same products even when you're away. If the routine works, then there's no need to change it. I always tell my friends, don't over exfoliate. I don't know what it is about exfoliating, but all my friends have this obsession with exfoliating. I think people think when you exfoliate, it just gets rid of your spots and it just removes all the gross things on your face. And it really doesn't. And I think over exfoliating can be really bad for your skin. I actually never use a physical exfoliator, one with like, grainy bits in it because I just find that it's too harsh on my skin and it doesn't feel nice, it hurts my face. I use acid toners instead to exfoliate because they are a bit more gentle I think, but even then like once, maybe twice a week, some people exfoliate every day and I think that's really bad for your skin. 
If it works for you, then fine. But I tend to say to my friends and family, try not to exfoliate all the time. You just don't need to. And your skin will just be stripped of all its natural oils. And then it will just try and generate more oils. And then you just become oily. And it's a bit of a vicious circle, really. Someone once told me, I think it might have been Caroline Hirons years ago, not to wash your face in the shower. And I didn't really do it anyway. But it makes so much sense. The water that you shower with is so hot that putting that on your skin, no wonder I used to come out of the shower with such blotchy red patches all over my face. And that's because I have quite hot showers and it's just too hot to put on your face. And if you're cleansing your skin and letting all the hot water in, it's really not a great idea. And I always try and remind Rich because he cleanses in the shower. So if you can, try and do your skincare routine before you get in the shower. Well, not your skincare routine. I tend to take my makeup off, then shower, and then come out and do my whole skincare routine. But I wouldn't recommend kind of scrubbing your face under the hot shower water. Not great for your skin, and I know it's a time saver, but I'd say try not to do it. And my final tip is just to say that skincare alone really isn't enough. I think a lot of people think that skincare is like a quick fix. It's not a quick fix. A lot of products won't even work in 30 years time. I think it's an ongoing thing to just look after your skin, but really drinking alcohol, smoking, and sun damage will really affect your skin. Sun damage in particular, I know some people who spent their whole kind of teenage days lying in the sun and they get such thick leathery skin when they're older and no matter how tanned you are it doesn't look good if you have leathery wrinkly skin so definitely don't lie out in the sun and if you're going to be in the sun wear spf if you can but i just thought i'd say because i think a lot of people think that skincare is like oh, i'm going to try this mask and the next morning i'm going to wake up and my skin's going to be amazing i just don't really think it works like that but I think having a nice daily skincare routine is enjoyable. I love washing my face and putting all my oils and serums on. I think you can start to really enjoy it if you just get into a good routine and find the products that work for you. Let me know if you want me to do an updated morning or evening skincare routine. I pretty much use the same things. I love the Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I love the Sarah Chapman serums and oils. A lot of the skincare I use is quite expensive because I personally like to invest in skincare. But I mentioned Caroline Hyres earlier. Definitely go and check out her blog. She is a skincare specialist and she knows everything about the subject. So go and look at her cheat sheets. They're really helpful if you're just getting into skincare. So I hope you liked this video. And if skincare is on your New Year's resolution, hopefully this helped you a little bit and maybe gave you a bit of inspiration to get started. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.